Heating Curve for Water by kscience.com We're going to understand what a heating curve for water is. This graph will explain how ice, water and water vapour are heated and how the particles change as this takes place. On the x-axis is time and the unit is minutes. On the y-axis is temperature and the unit is degrees Celsius. On the x-axis, the time starts at zero minutes and increases to the right. On the y-axis, I'm only writing zero degrees C as this is the melting point of ice to water and then 100 degrees C as this is the boiling point from water to water vapor. So just describing how the temperature of the water changes as it's heated, we can see that initially the temperature is increasing. Eventually, the temperature starts to remain constant. And then after a couple of minutes, the temperature then starts to increase again. After a while, the temperature gets to a point where it starts to remain constant again. And then the temperature starts to increase again. This dashed line represents the melting point of ice to water, which is zero degrees Celsius. And this dashed line represents the boiling point of water to water vapor which is 100 degrees Celsius. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is a simple particle diagram of ice where the water molecules are in a regular arrangement and they are touching and close together. Below zero degrees C, water is a solid. This is because water's melting point is zero degrees C. So the ice will only become a liquid when the temperature has gone above zero degrees C. There are attractive forces holding the water molecules in this regular repeating pattern. At zero degrees C, which is the melting point of ice to water, the attractive forces holding the water molecules in a regular repeating pattern, they start to break. This allows the water molecules to become free and to slowly start to move. At the horizontal line, the solid is changing into a liquid. When the ice is melting and changing state, the temperature remains constant. This is because the added energy is used to break the attractive forces. Only once all the attractive forces between the water molecules in the ice have been broken will the added energy allow the temperature of the liquid to start increasing. Before that, any added energy goes into breaking the attractive forces so the temperature remains constant until the ice has completely melted. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So now the ice has melted into liquid water. The water molecules in liquid water, they're touching, they can flow around each other, and the attractive forces holding the water molecules together are much weaker. By this stage, all the strong attractive forces have been broken by the added energy. The added energy has been absorbed by the particles, which has broken the strong attractive forces. The temperature, of the water particles keeps on increasing as they absorb more heat energy. As the liquid continues to absorb more heat energy, the liquid starts to turn into a gas. The horizontal line on any heating curve always represents a state change. Here it's melting and here it's evaporating. As the water evaporates into water vapor, the temperature remains constant. This is because the added energy is used to break the weaker attractive forces whilst boiling takes place. Water's boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. Only once all the weak attractive forces between the water molecules have been broken by the added energy can the temperature 
of the gas then start to increase. The water has now evaporated into water vapor where the water molecules are far apart, they move randomly in all directions and the forces between the water molecules are negligible. At this stage, the temperature increases as the added energy is absorbed by the particles, allowing the temperature of the gas to increase. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.